Hello, hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Me estaba creando expectativa. No está la teacher, no está la teacher. I was there. I was finishing my other class. Hello, my dear students. How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? <laughs> ok. Poor Sandrita, oh my God. Estresante ahora. <laughs> It was stressful. Stress. Stressful, you say. It was stressful. Yeah, bro, Martin. <laughs> I imagine that it was stressful. It was a hard day. Well, welcome everybody. Welcome to all the ones that are connecting right now. And for sure, welcome to your uh, class. Today, we are going to work a little bit on a uh, the topic of the day, and we are going to check a little bit of the platform, and we're going to check that all the exercises are complete, okay? So let's work. Let me open my platform. Déjenme abrir la plataforma y nos vamos a revisar. I think most of you have finished. Estaba revisando y ya muchos de ustedes completaron su sección 3. Así que, that was beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Welcome to all the ones that are just entering. Here I go. Yesterday we were talking about houses, right? I sent you a big document. Hoy sí, el documento era grande, lo acepto. But it was very useful. Did you have the opportunity to see it? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de ver el PDF que les mandé? No. No, bloqueado no tiene. <laughs> Oh, well, I sent a PDF to the group and uh, on the PDF, there are uh, there is a lot of vocabulary about uh, the parts of the house. And yeah, it's right there. It is on uh, your group and it has a lot of vocabulary related to the parts of the house. So please, whenever you have the chance, open it because it is going to be very useful. You will see a lot of different parts of the house and the different objects on each part of the house. Okay, van a ver las diferentes partes de la casa y los objetos en esa parte de la casa. And you have all the vocabulary related to that, okay? So it is a very beautiful document. It is very complete. So uh, I think it is good if you give a chance to, to read it. And let me see if I can show it. Body parts, body parts. Let me see. I think I have it. I think I have it around somewhere. Hmm, I cannot find it. Well, but the idea is that uh, you have it on your, you have it on your WhatsApp. So please give a quick look, try to check it and, and let me know, right? Once you have it there, it is very complete, right? Es un, es un eh, documento bastante completo de todas, todas, todas las partes de la casa y los objetos de cada una de las partes de la casa. So, el PDF que mandé en a mediodía. Yes, it's that one. Sí, exactly está, like that. Está bien bonito. It is very complete. I am looking for it. Lo ando buscando. Sí. Ay, se me I have it right here. And, uh, but the idea is that one, right? That you have it. Yo lo tenía abierto y no sé qué lo hice. But it is a very beautiful thing. Right? It's a very beautiful document. 
very complete and it has a lot of information for you to learn new words and new vocabulary you are going to see that you are going to get a lot of information from it so use it okay use the document i couldn't find it hi teacher oh su internet está mal leticia okay leticia good so we were working on that one yesterday and we started also working around the parts of the house right and we basically did right all these parts we talk about the different furniture that we have at home and the different uh, rooms of the house today we are going to focus a little bit on there is and there are why do you use this one and how do you use it? ¿Cómo usamos there is and there are? Si nos fijamos, ayer estuvimos hablando de diferentes, diferente vocabulario, but the vocabulary was singular or plural. In this case, can you give me examples of plural vocabulary? Plural vocabulary. On this picture, in esta foto que les estoy mostrando ahorita, quiero ver. Uh -huh. In this picture, examples of plurals. Club, a club? No, plurals, plurals, plurales. Ah, uh, perdón, curtain. Curtains, right? Curtains is plural. Another one? Armchairs. Armchairs, Armchairs right? Armchairs, pictures. Pictures. Lamps. Lamps, right? Yeah. Lamps. Chairs. Chairs. Chairs, right? Chairs. The chairs. The curtains, yes. Okay, I have the curtains and I think I have only those. As the pictures, right? The pictures is also plural. What about the singulars? We're going to mark the singulars on red. Table. The table. 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 The stove. The stove. The, stove. <laughs> the, 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 the bed. bed. The, bed. The, the desk. Mirror. The mirror. The, 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 the mirror. The stove. The microwave. The microwave. The table. Dresses, dress, the dresser, coffee table, the coffee table, bed, 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 the refrigerator, the bed, and the rug. rug. So, if I ask you, for example, about the plural things here, so you are going to tell me, ah, teacher, there are armchairs, there are curtains, there are pictures, there are lamps. Yeah. There are is for plurals. There, there is there is are. for singulars. There is table, but you there don't say is. there is table. Here we make use of another friend. Aquí hacemos uso de un amigo que aprendimos el módulo pasado. A, N, N. ¿Cuándo los ocupábamos? Vamos a ver si pusieron atención al módulo pasado. ¿Cuándo ocupamos A y cuándo ocupamos N? And es cuando, cuando la palabra que le continúa empieza con una vocal. Exactly, si no la edad. Ajá. ¿Verdad? Yes. Y ya cuando es este una, sin, una consonante. Consonant. Very good job. A uh, is for consonants and is for vowels. If we are talking about the bed, so you say there is. A bed. There is a desk. There is a television. There is a refrigerator. There is a sofa. There is a rug. There is a mirror. There is a coffee table. There is a table. There is a bookcase. There is a dresser, right? In this case, to explain or express what objects are in the different rooms, you use there is and there are. So set this, I can move to the next one. Una vez explicado esto, podemos continuar. So here we have, there aren't any chairs, he says in the conversation. 
there aren't any chairs. Why do you think they say any? ¿Qué significa any? Any. Uh, any. As, algunos. No, any. Cualquiera. Nada, nada. Ninguna, right? Ninguna. Ninguna, ninguna. No hay ninguna silla. There aren't any chairs. So you have to sit on the floor. <coughs> and it says, this apartment is great. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. Pero si necesito muebles, right? But I really need some furniture. Let me change the color. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. If you see the examples, the sentences that you have with there is, for example, here, you say, uh, let's see, there is only this lamp. Examples with there are, there are some chairs. There is no sofa. There aren't any chairs, right? There isn't a tape. There you have the examples. And here you have. Here you have the explanation. Okay, the first sentence that you have here. There is a bed in the bedroom. What about the next one? Can you help me to read the next one? There is no sofa in the bedroom. What about the next one? There is a toilet in the kitchen there isn't a table in the kitchen this is singular let's go with the plurals there are some chairs in the kitchen there are some chairs in the kitchen leticia ana leticia is sorry for me internet there's a mundist <laughs> yeah it is it is a problem because of the rain, I think. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. In this case, you say, there are some chairs. Hay algunas sillas en la cocina. There are no chairs. No hay sillas en la cocina. There aren't any chairs. No hay ninguna silla, right? If you say, there are no chairs in the living room. No hay sillas in the living room. But if you say, there aren't any chairs in the living room. No hay. Neither. There is a bed. There is no sofa. And there isn't a table in the kitchen. Right? There is and there are. There is is for singulars. There are is for plurals. Right now, I need you to look at the place where you are. Vean el lugar donde están sentadas ahorita. Donde están sentados ahorita. ¿Qué objetos tienen ahí? So you can say, there is, there are, and you can give me the examples. Look around. What objects do you have? I need you to write three sentences. Escriban tres oraciones con lo que tienen a su alrededor. Using there is and there are.
three sentences. What do you say, ventilador, teacher? Fan. Fan. It's like this, fan. 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 Check on the objects and write your sentences. Cuando ya las tengan, me las pueden decir para irla revisando. Y se la toque más que me traiga el lado. Es living room, es como la sala. ¿o? Yes. Y dinner room. El comedor. Comedor. Yes. Ok, gracias. Okay, let's check. Let's check on your sentences. Sandrita, do you have your sentences? There is a closet in the room. Uh -huh. There is two beds in the bedroom. Uh -huh. There is two beds. Two beds. Uh -huh. there, uh, there, decimos, there is two beds. Si tu bed is plural. There is a dresser in the room. Ajá, there is a dresser in the room. En sí. el caso de las dos camas, plural, so you say there are. There are, no, there are sí. two beds, right? Very good job. Let's go with Cynthia. There are. Oh, Cynthia, no te escucho. Ahora sí. Yes. Sí. There are three, three chairs in the dining room. There is a refrigerator in the kitchen. There is a table in the dining room. There is a table, right? There is the table. a table in the living room. Very good. Ana Yamilet. Mm, there, there is a table in the living room. There is a four chair in the living room. Um, there is a the two dog in the living room. Ah. Okay. There is two dogs. There are two dogs. There okay. are four chairs. Are. Porque son plurales. Uh, okay. okay. We need to make it, we need to be careful with that one. Uh, Jamilet. Jamilet, Ardon, ¿ya tienes tus oraciones? Eh, no, todavía no. Ok, finish, please. I will come back. Mirna. Sí. Go ahead. Ok. There is a table in the room. Good. There is a computer in the living room. Mm -hmm. There are two beds in the bedroom. Excellent job. Very good job. Vilma.
¿Cuál? ¿Cuál, Vilma? Vilma Isabel. <ríe> Sorry. Okay. Vilma Isabel, and then Vilma Concepción. Okay. okay. There is a chair. There is a table. There is a mirror in my bedroom. Very good job. Excellent. Vilma Concepción. There is a television in the living room. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Good. There is any table in the room. There isn't any. There isn't any table in the room. Very good job. Uh, Wendy Lisette. There is a bed in the bedroom. There are a pictures in the bedroom. There is a desk in the bedroom. Okay, there are a pictures. No, there are pictures. Porque con los plurales no ocupamos a ni an. O sea, there are pictures. Pictures only. Ajá. Solo con singulares vamos a ocupar a y an. Si decimos, there is ah, no. a bottle. Ajá. Puse con a, se me dio an. No, 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 no. Es que cuando ocupamos plurales, cuando decimos there are, después de are, no podemos poner ni a ni an. Solo es there are pictures. Exactly like that. Very okay. good. There are pictures. Mayerle Alejandra. Okay. There are two notebooks. There is a ruler in the table in my dining room. There are some dishes. There is a white stove. And there is a great refrigerator. Very good job. Excellent. Even with colors, very detailed. Excellent job, Mayerle. Roberto Carlos. There are a table in the living room. There are a television in the living room. And there are three archer, archer. Okay, there are three armchairs. Está correcta. Pero cuando decimos television, que es solo una, there is a television. There, there is. is a television. If it is only one object. Si solo estamos hablando de un objeto, there is. There is a television. There is a sofa, okay? Nubia. There is a three sofa living room. There is a one phone in living room. There is a television in living room. Okay, can you repeat number one? Me repite la uno, please. <clears throat> la, yeah. The number one. There is, ah, there is a one fan. In the living room. There is a one fan. Ok, vamos a agarrar este ejemplo. Cuando decimos there is a, ya es un. A. Si decimos there is a one, es un un. Entonces tenemos que decir uno de los dos. There is a fan a. or there is one fan. Right? The most correct form is there is a fan. Right? You can correct it there. La segunda, ¿cuál fue, Nubia? La... Eh, Esa fue la segunda. Ah, la, la primera, tercera. ¿cuál era? ¿Cuál ah, fue la primera? There is three sofa living room. Ah, ok. There is three sofa. If you say ah, okay. three sofas, it's plural. Mm -hmm. So you say ah. there are. They there are. are three sofas in the living room. Ok, so you correct it they there. Are. Yeah. There are three sofas. So oh, we, yes. we need to make we need to be very careful with that. Damisela, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah. sweetie. There is a car in the street. There are eggs in the kitchen. Good. There isn't soda in the refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. Refri refrigerator. There isn't soda in the refrigerator. Sorry. Fatima <laughs> Ivin, go ahead. Antes que se me vaya la luz. <laughs> <laughs> eh, there is a sofa in the living room. Good. There is a lamp eh, in the bedroom. There is a window in the living room. Very good job. Okay. So before the light goes off, Okay, antes de que se le vaya luz a, a Fátima, le voy a pasar lista. 
No. <laughs> Porque peligroso. So good. And I'm going to continue with the rest, okay? I am going to continue with the rest of you. Con los que me faltan, no crean que, que no me los van a decir. <laughs> you will, you will. Right now. Okay. Uh, let me open. Yes, this is my list. Ana Leticia. Present, she says. Poor Ana Leticia with her internet. Ana Jamilet. Present. Cynthia Marisol. Present. Daniel Edgardo. Hey, Danielito, didn't come today. Fatima Ivin. Present. Mayerly Alejandra. Present. Mayerly Yamilet Ardón. Present. Mireya Beatriz. Present. Mirna Yasmín. Present. Nelson Efraín. Nubia Daisy. Nubia. Present. Thank you. Reina, Reina Yael. Present teacher. Thank you. Reinita. ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué se me hizo Reinita? Reina. Reinita is not here today. Roberto Carlos. Present. Rosa María. Roxana Yasmin. Present. Roxana Yamilet. Sandra Beatriz Melara. Present. Ubaldo Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth. Present. Vilma Concepción. Present, teacher. Vilma Isabel. Present. Violeta Elizabeth. Wendy Lisette. Here. Jennifer Damisela. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue then. Ahora sí, ya podemos seguir. Let's see, am I missing who? Mireya Beatriz, vamos. There is, there is a fan in the room. Uh -huh. There is a bed in the room. There is a wedding in the room. There are some pillows in the room. There are some shoes in the room. Very good. There are some shoes in the room. Excellent, excellent explanation. Let's go with, who am I missing? Veamos, ¿qué me falta? Si me falta alguien, dime. Me, teacher. escondido. <laughs> Jamilet, go ahead. And then Veronica, Elizabeth. Vamos, Jamilet. There are a bar of shows. There are a show of apples. There are my Chills in the park. Okay. Mm. There are many chairs. Chairs. Chairs, chairs. Yes. There are many chairs. ¿Cuál fue la segunda, Yami? Eh, there are some, some mm. of apples. Okay. On the table, let's say. Vamos a poner aquí, on the table. In this one, for example, I will take these two examples. There are many chairs. It's correct, right? There are many chairs. This is correct. There are some of apples. You say there are some. You don't need these ones. There are some apples on the table, right? When you use there is, right? You say there is a sofa in the... Mm -hmm in the living room for example there is a sofa in the living room and you make it space here and you leave it like that right if you use for example something like there is an armchair porque solo hay una in the room right there is an armchair in the room 
and you keep it like that. There is an, and then you see the object and the place. Okay, Rosa Sarasal, go ahead. Ahorita, <clears throat> teacher. There is, there's a, a bed in the, in the room. There is a closet in the room. There are two tables in the kitchen. There are two sofa in the living room. Okay, there are two sofas in the living room. Very good job. And the last one is going to be, let's see, Roxana Yasmin, did you tell me your sentence? Um, there's a sofa in the bedroom. There, there's a desk in the living room. There are some tables in the kitchen. Very good, very good job. Veronica me la dijo, si vea. Wow, Veronica. Me conecté algo tarde, así que traté de hacerla lo mejor posible. It's okay, it's okay. There is a bag in the bedroom. Good. There is a shower in the bathroom. There are three sofas in the living room. There is a break in the kitchen. Very good. You see, it was like, I, I will do my best, you say. Yeah, but it was good. <laughs> it was very good. It was correct. Excellent job. Excellent job, the one you did, uh, my dear students. It's very careful. You have to be very careful with the use of there is. And there are, remember, if you are talking about only one object, there is. If the object is plural, there are. Okay, you have to be very, very careful with that. So here, here I have a little example. It says, I don't have a table in the bedroom. Como sería la forma con there is or there are? So you have here, there is no table in the bedroom, right? I don't have, there is no. I have some chairs in the kitchen. ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo cambiaríamos? Estamos hablando de chairs in plural. There are. There are. There are. Okay, no. so you can say there are some. Some. There are some chairs in the kitchen, right? I have a stove in the kitchen. There is. There is. Very good. There is a. Ah. There is a stove in the kitchen. Refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator. There is. There is. There isn't a refrigerator. There isn't a refrigerator, right? There isn't a refrigerator. No. Or, yeah, there isn't a refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator. Or you can say there is no, right? There is no. There aren't. You can say here, there is no refrigerator. And here you have it. There is no refrigerator. No hay refrigerador. There is no refrigerator. Exactly like the example here. What about this one? I don't have curtains on the windows. There aren't, there are. So you say there, there, no. there aren't, there aren't, there aren't curtains on the windows. And the last one, I don't have any rugs on the floor. They aren't. So you say there aren't, they aren't. rugs on rugs the floor, right? The floor. There aren't rugs on the floor. Or you can say yes. there are no. There are no rugs on the floor. You can use the both, you can use the two forms here, right? There are no rugs on the floor. And in this one, here we have a short picture. What objects can you see and in which place? You can tell me, teacher, there is? There is a mirror. Where? There is a there mirror. Is a mirror. There in is the, a mirror. In the bedroom. 
There is a door. Good. There is a bed. There is a bed. There is a window. There is a window. Where? Why? Ah, no. yes, there is a window. There are a chair. There are chair. chairs. Good. There are a, there is a bookcase. Oh, there is there a bookcase. There is a stove. There are some pictures. There are some pictures. There is a TV. Uh -huh. there, there, is a lamp. Lamp. there is a lamp. There is a lamp. There is a lamp. The pantry. There is a There is a There is a door. In this one, you say there are cabinets. There are, there, are there are three chairs, exactly like that. There are three chairs. Oh, there, are do do there are doors, good. Can you tell me something that she doesn't have? There is a clock, right? There is a, where is the clock? Where? There is a clock. ¿Dónde está el reloj? Ajá, no me miento. There is a clock. A what? There are pillow. pillows. Pillows. Ah, yeah, there are pillows on the bed. True, true, it's true. Tell me something that she doesn't have. There isn't. There aren't sofas. Or there aren't sofas. Good. There aren't sofas. There is a television table. There isn't a table. There aren't rugs, good. There isn't a toilet. There isn't a toilet, right? Por aquí lo vamos a hacer. There isn't a toilet. <laughs> there isn't a microwave. <laughs> there isn't a clock, right? She doesn't have a clock. Yeah, there is a lamp. Uh, there is a lamp, yes. We don't have a lamp here. Uh, there, there is um. There is a sink. There is a sink as well, right? There is a sink. There is a window. There is a window and there is no refrigerator, right? There is no refrigerator. Oh. Aquí what do you say a la cena, teacher? These ones, cabinets. There are cabinets, there are cabinets right? There are. There are. There are. There are in four times. Well, well, yes, we have curtains. <laughs> Here we don't have curtains, right? We don't have curtains on there the is, window. Um, there is a, a not, um, microwave. <laughs> there isn't a microwave, right? No tiene microwave tampoco aquí. Okay, so. De noche. <laughs> there isn't a night table, right? She doesn't have. There, is no. there isn't a blender. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a blender. It's true, right? No hay licuadora. There isn't a blender. And for sure, there is no, there is no cat. There is no dog, right? She doesn't have pets. There isn't a coffee maker. There isn't a coffee maker, right? I, I, I don't want to visit her. <laughs> Yo no la quiero visitar. Or if you go, bring the coffee, okay? If you go to this house, bring the coffee and the bread because she doesn't have anything, right? She doesn't have anything at home. And here, where we don't have a desk here in, in this. I have here four different houses. I have a cabin. I have a penthouse. I have a houseboat or I have a village. Um, Which one would you prefer? The village. The village. I will, yes. I will go to the village as well. Cabin. The cabin. I live in cabin. You live in a cabin? Yes. Oh, how beautiful. I said super. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Well, you live in you live in El Salvador, definitely. Would you like to live in a penthouse? Le gustaría vivir en un penthouse? Obviously. Yeah. Oh, obviously, yeah. teacher, you say, right? Yeah. 
Uh, here you have the four different things, right? The penthouse is in an apartment, right? It's on the top there, right? It's in an apartment. The cabin is in the middle of the forest. The village is like in the suburbs of the city. And the boathouse is on the ocean, right? Una casa flotante. Would you like to live in a houseboat? No, <laughs> with the crocodiles there. <laughs> no, that would be very dangerous, right? <clears throat> in the in the houseboat, you cannot have a cat, but you can have a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, or a shark. Yeah, or some tortoise. You can have it there. So there you have four different uh, dream houses and the one that was very famous on the reading right this was a very famous lady on the reading we have here mrs Cisneros, and the other one is the teacher mrs nelson so i am going to ask mirna mirna can you help me to read the first paragraph up to here hasta aquí <laughs> Lo voy a intentar. Go ahead, go ahead. You can do it. Okay. You say, Mirna, Mirna, yay, Mirna, Mirna. Mirna. Gracias, teacher. Go ahead, go ahead. Ok, lo intentaré. You can in do it. San Antonio, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house, the house in the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for the interesting store. The house has a porch with a pin floor. Okay, very good job. So in this one, we have in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house, purple house. The house is purple, purple. There is a purple house. Purple. House purple. purple. Say purple. <clears throat> this house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. So, what is a porch in this case? The porch is this one, right? The porch. Is this one the porch with a pink floor? Tiene un porch con el suelo color rosa. <clears throat> the next one. Let's continue here. Wendy, continue here with the next part of the paragraph. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other house owners. Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nero's loves it. Excellent reading, very good job, right? A pesar que casi no veo. <laughs> no, I know, I know, and the book is very horrible. Sorry, <laughs> el manual está como medio borroso, así que no es su lente. It's like, the rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it, okay? Imagínense la casa morada, celeste y rosada en medio de las blanquitas y las beige. So I, it is very colorful. So, excellent job. Any question about vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario, palabras que no conozcamos. No? ¿Todo está claro? Like the water? Porsche. Uh, the porch, the porch is this part of the house. Es lo que les mostraba, es el recibidor, esta parte de la casa. 
El porche. Paintings. Eh, pinturas. Cuadros. Neighbors. Neighbors is the people who live next to you. Perdón, perdón. Neighbors are the people who live next to you. Imagine that this is your house, Vecinos. right? Here is your neighbor, right? Your neighbor, it lives here, right? This is your neighbor, and this is another neighbor here. And they love to listen to the stories of the neighborhood. Imagine if you say, Sentate, Pablo. Sí, están pegando a Pablo hoy. <laughs> you listen to your neighbor's stories, right? <clears throat> My neighbors, uh, maybe they say, oh, me, <laughs> mi, mi vecino anda a decir, está en clase otra vez la lex. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> here in the, in the last room in my Está house. peleando la picha. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that, you say. Okay, good. So those are neighbors, right? The neighbors. Any other question? No? If not, we are going to go here. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. We are going to go to the next one. In the next one, we have a house in Arizona, right? Here we have Casa de Adobe también, así que there's no new thing here for us, right? But it says, every year, people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native oh. American homes mm -hmm. called Hogan's. This is a oh, Hogan. Oh, so many people. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Logan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Questions? Yes. Questions on vocabulary? Preguntas de este vocabulario nuevo? Homes. 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 Casas. Homes. Homes. Eh, yes. Leran, leran. Burning. 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 Ah, wood burning stub. Wood burning stub. Cocina de leña. Wood wow. es leña. Yes. Burning es que se quema. Stub es cocina. Cocina wow. de leña quemada. Cocina de leña. <laughs> what is another one? Le, little, le, little. Little. Segunda. Ah, to learn. Uh -huh. Aprender. You are learning English. They learn about Native American tribes. Aprender sobre los nativos. Yes. yes. What is What is? Get in la penúltima línea. Ah, guests. Invitados. Uh -huh. Invitados. Oh, Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests, ella le enseña a sus invitados about Native American traditions. Yes. The beds, las camas, right? On the floor, Call. en el suelo, right? Calls, llamados. Call. Llamados. The organs? Hogan's ah, is, la, yeah, no, cold is, okay, it says, they stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's, en casas nativoamericanas llamadas Hogan's. ¿Cuáles son los Hogan's then? Los Hogan's son estas casitas. Estas se llaman Hogan's. Bungalow. <laughs> so, uh -huh, for us, it's a bungalow. For them, Hogan's. Oh, de los, Hogan's. de los de Canadá, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh, but these are in Arizona. These are in Arizona. So. Es un iglú de lodo. <laughs> exactly like that. De adobe. 
So in this one, this is the example that was on the platform. Ese fue el ejemplo que estaba en la plataforma, el que hicimos en la plataforma. And it says, there is a porch with a pink floor, right? There is a porch with a pink floor. It's this one, right? There is a porch with a pink floor. It says, there are three chairs, there are two beds, there are many books, because this is plural, right? There is a, there is a wood burning stop, porque es el único singular que tenemos aquí. And there are <coughs> colorful paintings, three chairs, many books, two beds on the floor with there are, okay? So right now, before we finish, right? On the next unit, we have professions and occupations. This is what we're going to study on Monday, right? We're going to study professions and occupations. Vamos a hablar acerca de las diferentes profesiones y las cosas que hace cada quien. Pero antes de esto, quiero irme a la plataforma para revisar the part number three. So you can finish eh, nicely. Así que para los que no la han terminado todavía o tienen algún ejercicio pendiente de la sección tres, la vamos a revisar ahorita. Okay, it's just like that. Okay, está de rebelde en mi, mi página. No me la quiere abrir. Let me open it here. Did you all finish section number three? ¿Ya todos terminaron la sección tres? Okay. Yeah. Okay, ahorita la vamos a ver. Don't worry. We still have six minutes to do this. En estos últimos minutillos la vamos a ver. No me quiere abrir aquí. La vamos a abrir en otro número. Ok. What is, what is, what are you missing? ¿Qué les falta? ¿Los midterm exams o los, o la plataforma en sí les falta todavía? Las tres. A mí el 3.10. Ok. Uh -huh. Ahorita la vamos a ver. Hey, está de renuente mi internet. Mi internet, ¿no? Me niego. Let's see. Vamos a probar aquí. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, what is the exercise? Let me, let me check it on my cell phone then. If you have any, any question or any exercise that you cannot work, send the picture, send me the picture, exactly like what your friends did. ¿Se fijaron cómo hacían sus compañeros que me enviaban la fotito del ejercicio? And I can send it, porque aquí estoy peleando que me lo abra y no me lo abre. But I want to open it. So if you have it there, si lo tienen abierto, envíenmelo y lo podemos trabajar ahorita. Okay, I have one. Good. Hey, it's done. Uh, I have from Okay, Mrs. Flores. And it says a police officer has a dangerous job. A teacher's job is stressful. A teacher has a stressful job. Okay, let me share it right here. Ya me lo abrió ahorita lo Vamos a ver. <clears throat> Section number three. Here. Okay. In that one, a plumber's job is boring. A plumber has a boring job. Okay. So you have to complete it like that. Okay. Take a break. Oh, this is, yeah, number three. This one, no problem with this one with the musician, the singer. When you say, what is her job? He is a pilot, she is a flight attendant. No problem there? Con este no tuvimos problema. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> that was very easy. But what about this one? The questions? No? No. No problem with the questions. 
The problem was here, huh? This one. In this one, we have a doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. A police officer's job is dangerous. A police officer has a dangerous job. So here you have a teacher's job is a stressful. A teacher has a stressful job, right? That's how you have to make it. A plumber's job is boring. A plumber has a boring job. The next one, an electrician's job is difficult. An electrician has a difficult job. And a vendor's job is easy. A vendor has an easy job. Okay, and there you have it. So in this case, you are going to omit the possession for you to complete it, right? How are you going to make it complete? Here you have the different answers, right? These are all the options that you have to complete, okay? And on the next exercise of this unit here, it's about the reading. After I win, I take a break. Who says that one? Quien dijo esto? After I win, I take a break. It is John Blue. I don't usually work in the summer, is the teacher, Carlos Ruiz. The restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Who works in a restaurant? It is Lisa Parker because she's a waitress at night. After work, my feet and arms are tired. This is Becky Peck because she is the dog walker, okay? So this was section number three. And in the midterm exams, right? We have to be very careful here. In the midterm exams, they are not really complicated, but let me see. Yes, I am sharing my screen with you here. Let me see, let me see. Okay, any problem with the listening? No. No, no, no problem. problem. No, no problem. problem. No problem. Okay, no problem with the listening. Let's go with uh, the next one. The conversation. Do you have do you have your own apartment building or in this case is does your apartment building have an elevator does your apartment building have an elevator yes it does the bedrooms closets do the bedrooms have closets no they don't, right? You have to be very careful here. Do the bedrooms have closets? No, they don't. And then you send it, right? And what about the next one? Here, in this one, unscramble the sentences. Maybe this one was difficult for you. Yes or no? Yes. Today, yes. We, today started we started exactly like La this. Ultima me costó a mí. It's this one, okay. Eso fue lo que estudiamos ahora. The sentences with there is and there are. And it says, <clears throat> there, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. In this one, we say, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Okay, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. And I think you need the period. Okay? No pictures, the hole that are in. There are no pictures in the hole. And the last one, there aren't any 
curtains uh, in the dining room. There aren't any curtains in the dining room. Yes. So there you go. There you have the different options of these sentences. Okay. And you have here the different forms of answers possible. Okay. And let me see. On the next one, you say select the correct words. In this one, it was not really complicated because you have to choose only the uh, profession, right? Teacher. Yes. What about yes? Fíjese que en el ejercicio anterior yo las pongo así como es como las corrigió usted mm -hmm. y me las pone malo. Maybe you are not, Maybe adding, you are the not adding the period. No le ponga no le ponga el Ah, okay. Pero no se lo quito y tampoco me lo agarra. Tal vez el apóstol porque, porque está ocupando. No, <laughs> si lo... ese me salió ese malo. Me salió malo. Okay, so it is important, okay, en el caso, eh, Leticia, cópialo así como está en la, en la oración, arriba, copia ese apóstrofe que tienes ahí para que lo puedas, eh, solo dale copiar y pegar. Para que, sí, sí le para estaba que... haciendo, Lee. Ajá, si quieres, ah, envíame, envíame el ejercicio el como ejercicio tú lo llenas. Como tú lo llenas. Vaya, ahí se lo voy a enviar en el WhatsApp. Ok. Yo he descubierto algo en la plataforma, no Ajá. sé si me puede ayudar, pero eso Ajá. me ha ayudado a mí. Si una vez ya le da uno ya y salió malo, yo lo que hago es borrarlo completo, no corregir en la misma y volverlo a editar y así ya me funciona, aunque ponga lo mismo. No sé Ajá. en realidad si sí, era sí. Yeah, maybe, maybe no sé, it's a space. Algún, queda creo algún que, espacio exacto. Algo. Yo creo que a veces queda como un espacio ahí, que es el que Uno no corrige sobre lo que ya hizo y entonces va generando espacio y ahí es donde eh, tira error. Exactly, like that. It, it, is very, it is very picky in some cases. A veces es muy como quisquillosa de repente. Uh -huh. Pero hay que, hay que ver que no quede el espacio, que se ocupe el apóstrofe correcto y que todo quede bien utilizado. Okay. In this one, we have to select the question. Was it complicated for you? Les costó esta? I work at yes. a restaurant. It says, termino. where do you work? Donde trabajas? I work at a restaurant. He is a firefighter. Él es un bombero. What does he do? He is a firefighter. They hate their jobs. How do they like their jobs? ¿Cómo le gustan sus trabajos? They hate their jobs, you say. And then you have the three forms of questions. And in the last one, complete the conversation. In this one, it says that you have to complete the sentences with one of the options. A singer, singular, she, a singer has an exciting job has an porque exciting comienza con vocal has an exciting job i disagree i think a singer's job is boring a fly attendant singular he or she has a stressful job i agree it is stressful a cashier's job is easy I disagree. A cashier has a difficult job. And then you said, okay? And those are the correct sentences that you need here, okay? So those are the exams. And that is exactly what you are supposed to be doing. In this one, a nurse works in the hospital. A receptionist talks to people at the hotel. A judge sits all day. And there you have the options and the answers. Well, my dear students, so these are all the sentences and all the uh, activities that you were supposed to do. Esos eran los ejercicios que tenemos que tener terminados. Así que si a alguien le faltaba uno, 
ya lo hicimos. Y si les sigue dando algún problema, please <coughs> send me the image so I can check where is the problem, okay? Send me the image with the problem and I will help you solve it, okay? Well, it was a very beautiful night with you and I'm going to see you on Monday. Please complete the sentences and the exercises. Okay. Have a beautiful night. See you on Monday. Si tienen algo. Si tienen algo. Me avisa. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.